time after time, but in the month of Ramadan. So, and the words of the Quran, over all of our other words, is like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over all his creations. The words of the Quran, over all of our other words, is like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over all other creations. And, and then it is said by Zir, report Ibn Masul, but you said, the Quran will disappear in one night. The Quran will vanish in one night. No verse in the scripture or in the heart of anyone will be left. And this is reported in Sunan Dharma. Ibn Taymiyyah Rahim, Rahimullah Ta'ala says, Indeed, it will be taken away by night, at the end of time, from the written copies and the hearts. No word of it will remain in the hearts, not any letters in written copies. So this Quran will be gone. You will open it one morning, then the page is blank. So, Al-Dharmi narrated that Abdullah bin Masood, Radiallahu who narrated, said, recite the Quran much before it is taken away. Who is narrating this? Abdullah ibn Masood. And they said, these Mus'haf will be taken away. He says, and, and they said, what about the, which is memorized in the, men, in the heart of men? What is memorized in the heart of men? He says, something will come and take it in one night. And in the morning, they will wake up without it. They will forget the phrase. Imam Shafi, Imam Shafi, one of the great of the four Imams, he, he uses to recite 60 Musaf in Ramadan. One morning, one afternoon. One complete Quran in the morning, one in the afternoon. So check what we are doing, right? And sometimes we go, we go after these Imams. Who is Imam Shafi? Who is Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal? Who is Imam Abu Hanifa? Can you put your foot in this step of these people? Look what they are. This is just an iota. Imam Bukhari, Imam Bukhari, when he read the hadith in the Sahih, he would make two rakat uh, salah and ask Allah Tawbah. This is Sahih, and he would make two rakat and then, then write that hadith. And he collected hundreds of thousands of hadiths and he boiled it down to, I think, to 7,000 or 70,000 hadiths. So, this is the Adha, this is the Akla, this is Ramadan is to bring us to that level, to humble us, to prepare us. So, how is to prepare six months before? Six months after. So let us all do something for ourselves. Let us all get back to the source, get back to what we are doing, and correct ourselves. We, we all make mistakes. We're insan, we're human, you know? So the Quraysh of Mecca, right? The Quraysh of Mecca was mesmerized by the recitation of the Quran. Quraysh of Mecca. Walid ibn Mukira. Walid ibn Mukira was a, you know, he was against the Prophet so much, right? And he heard his speech, the word of the Quran. And he said he has never heard anything like this. Now listen to this. Sheikh Abdul Basit, uh, one of the great reciters of our time, he was invited. His leader called him. And when your leader calls him for a country, it's either two things. Either you're beheaded or you're given a title. So he said to prepare, prepare himself. We, got a, uh, we have to go to Russia. We're invited by the Russian parliament. So when they went to the, the Russian parliament, did their presentation, cultural presentation, whatever. And then the Egyptian had to do their presentation, and there came to Abdul Basit, he recited from the Quran, and the Russians, and the, the people were all crying, and they were weeping, and you know, emotional. So they said, we do not know what you read, we do not know what you read, but it broke our heart, we had tears, and, and we were getting emotional, and some of us are crying. So that's the, that's, the, that's the miracle of the Quran, and so many miracles we can talk about, you know? So, 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 um, so that's, that's about the Quran, and we should all get hold and get close to it, you know, attached. Sayyam means to refrain from certain things. <laughs> Food and drink, intimate relation with one's spouse, and have fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Taqwa, and that's another topic we don't want to get into. Zakat, I'm just touching on these little things, just a little reminder for myself and you. Zakat is mentioned 82 places in the Holy Quran, and associated with Salah 80 times. What he was Salah, what to Zakat. Right? Give the zakat and pray the salah. Like I always say, if you go to the Christian church, you don't pay at the door, you don't come in. Today we do free for all. It's Ramadan, it multiplies. 70 times. It multiplies, my brothers. What are you going to do? In the, in the cover, you know, and, and so much we can go back and forth on this. So, Umar Raghilan, who used to beat the people to pay zakat. Umar Raghilan, who used to beat the people to pay the zakat. Right? Today we are afraid of the IRS to go after us. But we are not afraid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us all get this straight. We have to get our taxes in line. On time. On time. Or otherwise you pay penalty. What happened to Allah's tax? 
Pray for all, right? So, my dear brothers, and also being generous in the month, in this month is very rewarding. I mean, out of the month is also. But like I said, this is a month of uh, preparing and, you know, getting yourself in order. And Allah has given us a chance to be here in this month. Look, look around and see how many people have gone from here. How many people are here? And who will be here next year? Just turn around and look. So, this hadith narrated by Abu Huraira, the Rasulullah so said, Allah exalted and majestic, Allah the exalted and majestic said, every act of the son of Adam is for him, except it Sayyam, which is exclusively for me, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the fasting that you're doing is for me, in Ramadan, out of Ramadan. And it's a shield like many one of you is observing fast. Allah says I will reward him for it. And he says fasting is a shield when any one of you observe it fast. He should neither indulge in obscene language, nor he raise his voice, and if anyone revive him or tries to quarrel with him, he should say, I am fasting. By whose hand the soul of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi is in the breath of observing song, is sweeter than the fragrance of musk. The one who fasts experiences two joys. Listen to this carefully. The one who, who is fasting experiences two joys. When, when he breaks a fast, and when he is going to meet his Lord, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And this is narrated in Bukhari. There's a Dura Dua. This is the one narrated by Aisha Radhanangu. He said, after breaking the fast, she says, Zaha Zahaba Zama, or Abatal Uru, or Sabatil Ajar, inshallah. The thirst is quenched, and the vein is moistened, and the reward is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should all say this after breaking the fast. Um, so the holy month of Ramadan is divided into three parts. First ten days is to gain Allah's mercy. We are about seven days, three more days in, to, to make ten. And the second ten days is to ask Allah for forgiveness. The last 10 days is to bring emancipation from the hellfire. The Sahaba used to fast in the hottest day. Even the fast on the hottest day, they even did not have enough clothes to, for themselves. They used to cover their bodies with their hands. The Sahaba used to cover their bodies with their hands when they used to fast. One day of fasting keep you 70,000 years away from Jahannam. And duas are accepted at the time of breaking the fast, uh, accepted from a just leader and an oppressed person. I have some non-Muslim friends, and they will tell me that you all have a month to give benefit from. We don't have anything. So let us all take this advantage, my dear brothers and sisters. The non-Muslims will tell us this. We have an opportunity, a great opportunity, and we just blow it away. You know, we, some of us say, man, I can't wait for Ramadan to finish. I hear that all the time. I hear it all the time. You know? So by doing all these acts of worship, you're getting closer to Allah, sorry, getting close to Allah. So let us all make this month the best effort. When you lose, listen to this carefully, when you lose someone, you're, you're, you know the feeling and the concern when someone passed away. But when you, when, 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 when you lose Ramadan and they're fasting, you're not worried and concerned. So let this Ramadan go, go don't go by without waiting, without gaining anything. It may be your last Ramadan. If you want to know if your Ramadan, if your Ibadah in Ramadan are rather the signs that, that tell you that your Ibadah is accepted, is whatever you, you you did in Ramadan, you continue to do outside of Ramadan. If you want to know if your Ramadan is accepted, whatever you did in Ramadan, you want to see if it's happening, if you, you continue to do it out of Ramadan or see it. Yeah. So, Jazakallah, Imam Shah, Salaam Alaikum.